Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Ajawi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at the Sheikh Hamad Palace today the Prime Minister of Malaysia, Dato Siri Muhammad Najib bin Tun Abdul Razak, currently visiting the kingdom. His Majesty the King welcomed the guests of the country and the members of his accompanying delegation. After the recitation of verses from the Holy Quran, His Majesty the King. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ولقد أنزلنا إليكم آيات مبينات ومثلا من الذين خلوا من قبلكم وموعظة للمتقين الله نور الله نور السماوات والأرض مثل نوره كمشكات فيها مصباح المصباح في زجاجة الزجاجة كأنها كوكب دري يوقد من شجرة مباركة زيتونة زيتونة لا شرقية ولا غربية يكاد زيتها يضيء ولو لم تمسس نار نور على نور يهدي الله لنور من يشاء ويضرب الله الأمثال للناس والله بكل شيء عليم صدق الله العظيم Your Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, King of the Kingdom of Bahrain. Your Excellency Dr. Sri Muhammad Najib bin Tun Abdul Razak, Prime Minister of Malaysia, Excellencies, distinguished guests. The historic visit of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, King of the Kingdom of Bahrain, to Malaysia earlier this year truly embodied the close, brotherly relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and Malaysia. 
and it is a pleasure today to welcome His Excellency Prime Minister Najib Abdel Razak and the accompanying delegation to Bahrain to further open and deepen the friendship and cooperation between the two countries and people. Under the leadership of His Excellency Prime Minister Najib Abdel Razak, Malaysia has made significant achievements across different areas, setting a model for other countries to learn from in their own progress and development. This success would not have been possible without the Malaysian government's policies of openness, tolerance and respect. Indeed, Malaysia has had many praiseworthy stances and contributions to regional and international peace and security. As the Kingdom of Bahrain continue to stand by its brothers in Malaysia to foster growth and prosperity, His <coughs> Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa has directed that His Excellency Prime Minister Najib Abdel Razak should be honored with the King Hamad Order for Al Nahda First Class in recognition of his remarkable leadership and outstanding achievements. In recognition of the role of His Excellency the Prime Minister of Malaysia in promoting the relations between the two brotherly countries and the achievements made by his wise leadership, His Majesty the King bestowed on him the order of King Hamad and Nahda. His Majesty the King also decorated the Malaysian Minister of Defense Hishamuddin Hussein with the First Class Medal of Bahrain in appreciation of his efforts in consolidating joint military and defense cooperation between the two countries. His Majesty the King held a dinner banquet in honor of the Prime Minister of Malaysia and the accompanying delegation.
Earlier in the day, the Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa welcomed the Prime Minister of Malaysia, Datu Sir Mohammed Najib bin Tuk Abdul Razak, who arrived in Bahrain for talks on promoting the relations between the two brotherly countries in various domains. Also present were Sheikh Zain bin Khalid Al Khalifa, the Minister of Transport and Head of the Mission of Honor, Mr. Kamal bin Ahmed Hamad, and other officials. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa on the anniversary of the establishment of the modern state of Bahrain as an Arab and Muslim country in 1783 by its founder Ahmed Al Fatih, the 46th anniversary of its joining the UN as a full member, the 18th anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister highlighted the achievements of Bahrain made under the wise leadership of His Majesty the King and wished him abundant health and success. In a reply cable, His Majesty the King expressed thanks and appreciation to the Prime Minister and hailed his efforts and contributions to the Kingdom's development, wishing him abundant health to continue his sincere efforts for the Kingdom's progress. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the anniversary of the establishment of the modern state of Bahrain as an Arab and Muslim country in 1783 by its founder Ahmed Al Fatih, the 46th anniversary of it joining the UN as a full member state and the 18th anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted the achievements of Bahrain made under the wise leadership of His Majesty the King and also paid tribute to the patriotic servicemen who sacrificed their lives in the line of duty. He also wished His Majesty abundant health and happiness and success. In a reply cable, His Majesty the King expressed thanks and appreciation to the Crown Prince and hailed his efforts and contributions in the Kingdom's development, wishing him lasting good health to continue his contributions to the nation's progress. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a congratulatory cable from Her Royal Highness, wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, on the occasion of the National Day. Her Royal Highness asserted that during His Majesty the King's prosperous era, the Kingdom has reached advanced levels of development and progress, making it a model of coexistence and peace, as well as a center of scientific and cultural enlightenment. She also expressed her appreciation and gratitude for His Majesty's continuous care and support for Bahraini women, which has led to the advancement of their participation in all fields. She added that Bahraini women became a force capable of shaping a bright future for Bahrain. Her Royal Highness extended her deepest congratulations to His Majesty the King on the occasion of the National Day, wishing him abundant good health and happiness and to the Bahraini people further progress and prosperity. In a reply cable, His Majesty the King expressed thanks and appreciation to Her Royal Highness and praised her role in the development of Bahraini women. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received the cable of good wishes on the anniversary of the establishment of the modern state 
of Bahrain as an Arab and Muslim country in 1783 by its founder Ahmed Al Fatah, the 46th anniversary of Bahrain joining the UN as a full member, and the 18th anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. Cables were received from the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah, the UAE President, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, His Majesty Sultan Qaboos bin Saeed of Oman, Egypt's President Abdel Fattah Al Sisi, King Mohammed VI of Morocco, and King Abdullah ibn Al Hussein of Jordan. The leaders expressed their sincere congratulations and wishes of abundant health and happiness as well as success to His Majesty the King and to Bahrain and its people, further development and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received cables of congratulations from Arab Islamic leaders as well as leaders of friendly countries marking Bahrain's National Day celebrations. The leaders expressed their sincere gratitude and congratulations and wishes of abundant health and success to His Majesty the King and to Bahrain and its people, further development and prosperity. His Majesty the King also received a cable of good wishes from Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II of the United Kingdom and Northern Ireland, marking Bahrain's National Day celebrations. Also, His Majesty the King received a cable of good wishes from President Donald Trump of the United States, marking Bahrain's National Day celebrations. And His Majesty the King received a cable of good wishes from the President of Russia, Vladimir Putin, marking Bahrain's National Day celebrations. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa expressed thanks to the Russian astronauts on board the International Space Station, ISS, orbiting planet Earth. In reply to the audio and video message of congratulations they sent to Bahrain, marking the National Day and the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. أيها الرواد الأعزاء نحييكم أجمل تحية ونشكركم جزيل الشكر على تهانيكم الطيبة لنا ولشعب البحرين بعيدنا الوطني وعيد جلوسنا مقدرين أي ما تقدير هذه الرسالة الطيبة منكم وأنتم في الفضاء الواسع آملين أن تنقلوا تحياتنا الصادقة إلى فخامة الرئيس فلاديمير بوتين وإلى الشعب الروسي الصديق ومتطلعين إلى انضمام رائد فضاء بحرين إلى فريقكم القدير في رحلة قادمة في المستقبل القريب أعادكم الله إلى وطنكم وأهلكم ناجحين وموفقين والسلام عليكم Earlier, the Russian astronauts on board the International Space Station, ISS, orbiting planet Earth, sent an audio and video message of congratulations, marking the National Day and the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. The ISS astronauts hailed in their message from orbit the strong relations binding the Russian Federation and the Kingdom of Bahrain and the wise policy of His Majesty the King in promoting dialogue between civilizations and coexistence. They also voiced hope that a Bahraini astronaut will be with them soon on the International Space Station. Мы, космонавты Роскосмоса, отсюда с орбиты Земли, с борта Международной космической станции, сердечно поздравляем Его Величество Короля Бахрейна и весь народ Бахрейна с национальным днем Королевства Бахрейн. Желаем Королевству Бахрейн развития и процветания, развития отношений между Российской Федерацией и Королевством Бахрейн, в том числе и в области космоса. И выражаем надежду, что в скорое время среди нас будет бахрейнский космонавт. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations and good wishes from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, marking the anniversary of the establishment of the modern state of Bahrain as an Arab and Muslim country in 1783 by its founder Ahmed Al Fatah the 46th anniversary of its accession to the UN as a full member and the 18th anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince hailed 
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's efforts and contributions to the Kingdom's development, wishing him lasting good health to continue his contributions to the nation's progress era of His Majesty, wishing Bahrain further growth, glory and stability. Regarding Commemoration Day designated by His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince paid tribute to the patriotic servicemen who sacrificed their lives in the line of duty. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister sent a similar cable expressing his gratitude to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for his noble patriotic sentiments and sincere efforts in serving the beloved homeland. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received cables of congratulations from leaders, Prime Ministers and Crown Princes of Arab, Islamic and friendly countries on the anniversary of the establishment of the modern state of Bahrain as an Arab and Muslim country in 1783 by its founder Ahmed Al Fatah, the 46th anniversary of its accession to the UN as a full member and the 18th anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. The leaders, Prime Ministers and Crown Princes expressed their sincere congratulations and good wishes of abundant health and success to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and further development and prosperity to Bahrain and its people. In a statement to Saudi newspaper Al Yom to be published tomorrow, Saturday, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa stated that the Kingdom of Bahrain, while celebrating the occasion of the National Day and His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's accession to the throne, it is working for a more prosperous future and achieve new milestones to be added to the many gains made in various fields. His Royal Highness said that the National Day and His Majesty the King's accession to the throne are a great day to the Kingdom of Bahrain and hopes are great for safer and more stable future to Bahrain. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister stressed that Bahrain is looking forward to the future by adopting modern methods of progress and development and will continue to exert efforts under His Majesty's leadership and preserve national unity in the cohesion and awareness of the people of Bahrain. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister said that the Kingdom of Bahrain will continue to build and move steadily and confidently towards renewing life, advancing development and achieving more gains for the good and well-being of people. On the Bahraini-Saudi relations, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister stressed that Saudi Arabia's steadfast positions in the service of Islamic and Arab nations are bright signs in the history of the region and the world. It is a country of firmness and determination in dealing with various issues, especially those affecting the security and stability of the region. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister said that Saudi Arabia, under the wise leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, and its active Arab and Islamic alliances, will be able to maintain security and stability in this vital region of the world and enhance its strategic position on all levels. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister hailed the distinguished level of bilateral relations between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received cables of congratulations from leaders, Prime Ministers and Crown Princes of Arab, Islamic and friendly countries on the anniversary of the establishment of the modern state of Bahrain as an Arab and Muslim country in 1783 by its founder Ahmed Al Fadih. The 46th anniversary of its accession to the UN as a full member and the 18th anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. The leaders, prime ministers and crown princes expressed their sincere congratulations and best wishes of abundant health and success to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and to Bahrain and its people further development and prosperity. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, extended sincere congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, their Royal Highnesses, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the Bahraini people as the country prepares to celebrate National Day. This occasion marked the anniversary of the establishment of, of a modern state of Bahrain as an Arab and Muslim country in 1783 by its founder Ahmed Al Fatih, the 46th anniversary of its accession to the UN as a full member, and the 18th anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. His Highness Sheikh Nasser stated, This occasion is a chance to commemorate the forefathers and the rulers of Bahrain 
who have laid the foundation for the modern Bahraini state, as well as to highlight the honorable achievements made by the kingdom in various development sectors, making it an international model due to the vision of His Majesty the King. His Highness went on to state that His Majesty the King continued the legacy of founder Ahmed al-Fatih in preserving an independent kingdom and continuing the march of prosperity and advancement while maintaining its security and safety. On this occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser recalled the reform project of His Majesty the King, most notably the National Action Charter, which was received unprecedented national consensus and the King's commitment to the principles of reform and continuous development for the country in different areas. His Highness Sheikh Nasser pointed out that the people of Bahrain look forward to this anniversary as an opportunity to renew their loyalty and affirm their allegiance to the country and its leadership. Under the patronage of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee and Honorary President of the Bahrain Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the National Day Endurance Championship for 120 km distance kicks off tomorrow. The event is being held on the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne and Bahrain's National Day. His Highness Sheikh Nasser welcomed the riders and stables participating in the tournament, praising in this regard the initiative taken by UAE jockeys to take part in the championship. He affirmed that such a move only asserts the strength of the bilateral relations that pins Bahrain and the United Arab Emirates, wishing them success in their second home. His Highness Sheikh Nasser stressed that the race at all stages will witness strong competition due to the early preparations taken by the participants wishing all success. His Highness Sheikh Nasser directed the Royal Equestrian Federation to provide various forms of support for the riders to present an honorable image of this Bahraini sport, praising the regulatory procedures that accompany the veterinary examinations of the horses participating in the race. The race will be held on four stages, stage one being 40 kilometers, stage two 30 kilometers, stage three 30 kilometers, and stage four 20 kilometers. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Honorary President of Bahrain Sports Federation for Disabilities, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa, delegated the Deputy Chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to attend the Khaled bin Hamad Equestrian Cup and the fourth equestrian race for people with disabilities. And the cups of His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa and His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the National Day Cup. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa crowned the winners of the Khalid bin Hamad Horse Racing Cup. On this occasion, His Highness Sheikh Khalid lauded the exciting competitions that characterized the race, which reflected the serious and large preparations underway by the participants from the horsemen in the race.
The Minister of Information Affairs, Mr. Ali bin Mohammed al Rumehi, extended sincere congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, and to the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad al Khalifa on the occasion of the Kingdom's National Day celebrations. During the Minister's inauguration of the National Day Festival held at the Bahrain International Circuit, he expressed pride in the festive spirit that is spreading throughout the country, which reflects the people's unity and patriotism, as well as their loyalty to the leadership and their pride in the Kingdom's status as being an intellectual and cultural role model. Ramehi affirmed the Ministry's keenness to showcase the celebrations on the occasion through various mediums and highlighting the citizens' renewal of allegiance to His Majesty the King, as well as the support of the government's plans and programs towards the establishment of security, stability and prosperity. A huge public National Day celebration took place today in the Capital Governorate and fireworks adorned the skies of Manama. More details in this report with the Hiba Abdel Ghaffar. The people of the Capital Governorate celebrated the 18th anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to power. The establishment of modern Bahrain as a Muslim Arab country in 1783 AD under the founder Ahmad al fatah and the 46th anniversary of its accession to the United Nations as a full member state. The ceremony was held in the Water Garden City, offering huge offers and surprises to the public, amid a wide public participation that reflected the expressions of joy in national holidays. I would like to welcome uh, all Bahrainis and uh, residents of Bahrain to our National Day celebration at Water Garden. And we hope that the celebrations uh, will be up to the standard that everybody enjoys and it is for the whole family. And we wish uh, best uh, congratulations on the National Day of Bahrain to all our, the pe our people and our citizens. The ceremony included a large spectacular display of fireworks, a series of special performances and a singing operetta by artists Muhammad Abdul Rahim, Muhammad Il Tamimi and Hanan Rida. A draw was also made on amazing prizes, including a MG360 car. I came here today to uh, watch these wonderful celebrations for the National Day. I must say, uh, it's a really wonderful event, very well organized. This is a very creative country. I really, I'm very happy to be with you here in this wonderful community. Uh, you're a very social, very creative nation. And we're really happy to be here. I love you, Bahrain. Happy National Day, Bahrain! I love Bahrain. I want to congratulate Bahrain for the National Day for the 46th anniversary. I am proud of my country and I am proud of the capital Manama for this fantastic show. Happy National Day. I love Bahrain. I feel like Bahrain is my country. I want to tell everybody uh, come to visit Bahrain. Been here for a long time in Bahrain. Um, uh, really, we enjoyed a lot. Uh, may God save Bahrain forever. Thank you, Bahrain. I love Bahrain. Bahrain is in my heart. The wide participation and great interest of the citizens and residents in the celebration reflects a truly unique cohesion and is a clear indication of how much love and loyalty people hold to this beloved kingdom and its wise leadership. Happy vibes, great music and a wonderful celebration right at the capital on the National Day. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Heba Abdel Ghaffour. The National Oil and Gas Authority have had a prosperous year and have held a number of significant conferences in the Kingdom of Bahrain, some for the first time ever. More details in this report with Shoghi Mohammed. Oil and gas have played a significant role in changing the social and economic life, as well as the infrastructure of the Kingdom of Bahrain. The oil industry has provided the country with substantial amounts of money, which has made it able to establish several industrial companies and undertake huge investment projects. 
This has also helped provide employment opportunities for the citizens, thereby reflecting positively on their standards of living. The National Oil and Gas Authority regulates, oversee and develop oil and gas and related industries in the Kingdom of Bahrain, fueling economic growth and improving living standards. Well, of course, it's always a continuation of uh, work done by uh, uh, previous uh, ministers as well. And of course, all the companies are actively working to develop young Bahrainis, to develop expansions, uh, whether it's increasing production of oil and gas, whether it's expanding the refinery. Um, we have Bana Gas, we have the new pipeline coming up. So a lot of projects always in the pipeline. The Minister of Oil has expressed his deep happiness in the embrace of the Kingdom of Bahrain of a number of recent conferences and exhibitions in regards to the good reputation enjoyed by the Kingdom on the world level in the conference and events industry specialized in this area. And the oil and gas sector is always uh, active in conferences. There's many conferences to come for next year. Uh, we have GEO, one of the larger ones for next year, of course, and that's on the upstream geology and uh, Petro, uh, petrophysics. We also have uh, uh, Petrotech coming later towards the year, and there are many smaller conferences in between. But we'll always be active in the scene, inshallah. The minister expressed his hopes for the youth and the importance of educating them in order to succeed in this sector. It's important to get young Bahrainis interested in this. It's a chemical engineering discipline, chemistry process, engineering, all of that. It's important to get young Bahrainis into the sector. So pay attention to chemistry, important part of a university, and this is what it's all about. With the occasion of National Day approaching, the minister wished the leadership and the people of Bahrain a successful year ahead. First of all, to uh, leadership with His Majesty the King, uh, my Highness Prime Minister and the Crown Prince, uh, wishing them a successful year next year, inshallah, and the people of Bahrain. As the year 2018 approaches, the National Oil and Gas Authority will continue to achieve long-term financial returns, implement petroleum legislations and policies, and enhance the contribution of the oil sector in supporting the economy. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Shogh Mohammed. The Kingdom of Bahrain won the GIS Implementation 2017 Excellence Award, adding a new achievement to the many achievements that have been made in recent years. The award was won by the Information and E-Government Authority for its Tasarih platform. During the GIS Works 17 conference held in Dubai, one of the most significant conferences specialized in the geographic information systems field in the GCC. Tasarih platform was selected amongst the winning project as it links between the strategic objectives of public entities and the procedures as well as the services related to IT, raising efficiency of performance and reducing expenses of all the government entities. In addition to developing the infrastructure sector in the Kingdom of Bahrain by providing a unified comprehensive platform to issue all the permits together with the licenses related to infrastructure, infrastructure through the Sariah. Authority Systems Development and Maintenance Director Sheikh Manar bin Abdullah Al Khalifa stated that winning the award is a reflection of the successful efforts exerted in developing projects under Tasarih, which will contribute in securing the infrastructure that supports sustainable economic growth. She added that winning the award is also a confirmation of the authority's keenness in creatively providing its services and initiatives that contribute in raising performance and quality of all delivered services.